In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, by witness there is no God but Allah, who came to us in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. I bear witness that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is a deed dying, exalted Christ. I furthermore de bear witness that the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan is our big brother, warner, friend, leader, teacher, and guide. I greet you all in the nation, greeted words of peace. We say it in the Arabic language, Assalamu alaikum. All praises are due to Allah. On behalf of Brother Albert Muhammad and the Let Us Make Man family, as always, family, we continuously thank you for your support. We thank you for taking a few moments of your time and watching the videos, reading our posts, supporting our cause, our efforts in the plight of the black community. We can never thank you enough. We're going to do our very best, I guarantee you, as best as we could. And to get through this real briefly, we want to discuss with you D.L. Hughley, America's new secret intelligence weapon against black America. The new Negro. And you're wondering... Well, brother is attacking another brother. Not true. Not true by a long shot. What we deal with is reality and actual facts. And so we want to talk to the um, radio link or the interview D.L. Hughley did relevant to our brother Ice Cube. Now, if you're on my page, you can click on the link and listen to D.L. Hughley yourself. And this is the greatest hindrance of the growth and development of black America in America, our own people. The assault that he took against Ice Cube, belittled the brother and began to say things that had nothing to do with what Ice Cube original motives is relevant to the program he put out, CWBA, Contract with Black America. So let's go, give me one second, let's just analyze Something here real quick. And that and that is DL Hughley uh the American Negro. And in the post we wrote, I'm not gonna ask why. Why did DL Hughley give such an interview? I'm not gonna ask that question. We all know for the most part, the brother made it clear. That he has a personal beef or whatever the case may get may be against our brother, Q. And so he took the uh, stance that he took in his uh, talk. It's clear why D.L. Hughley would, would outright lie and exaggerate the truth. About Ice Cube's CWBA. Outright lie. Because D.L. Hughley went into his interview. Claiming. Or stating. With firmness. That Ice Cube met with Trump. And put together. The Platinum Plus plan. Lie. Straight up lie. But the sad reality to it, that he used a radio platform. Do you know how many people that is reached on a day-to-day -day basis, 24 hours a day, they record these things, they play it over sometimes and over and over again. So they keep feeding it. America's secret intelligence against black America. Because he used this information to misguide and mislead the average Negro or American or black American. Ice Cube 
helped, according to DL, or met with Trump and helped put together the Platinum Plus. Why couldn't they call it this? Some other ludicrous kind of statements he made. Q never met with Trump at all. Q never spoke with Trump. That was one lie. DL, DL usually went on to say that why would Trump now meet with somebody who was known for making movies, Friday movies? Jealousy. That's the sign of jealousy. What in the hell Friday got to do with what we're talking about today? Jealousy. So he said, why would Trump then want to meet with Ice Cube and we going into a third wave of pandemic? The pandemic goes nowhere. Coronavirus goes nowhere. Why, brother? The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teaches us that God set this on America and the entire world. And only God can remove it. And this Caucasian has come to grips with that. So you're going to have more than two, three, or four waves. It's a condition by Almighty God Allah dealing with this pandemic, the coronavirus. But hell, we know D.L. Hughley was affected by it, unfortunately. He happened to pull through it by the grace of God. But you want to attack your brother because he composed a plan that said, this is what we want for our vote. We've been voting for these crackers and these people for over 400 years and got nothing. So he said, well, if Trump then was going to meet with somebody and they was going to compose a plan about the better the benefits for black America, why wouldn't he meet with professional people? Why wouldn't he get teachers, doctors, so on and so on, people who have experiences in this uh, field? Another sign of sadness and ignorance. Huh? The reality is D.L. Ugly didn't do his homework because Ice Cube did just that. Those who sat with Ice Cube and helped him compose and orchestrated, coordinated the CWBA contract with Black, with Black America were people of professionalism. People who had experience, who have long-term experience in the fields relevant to what's in the contract with black America. But you wouldn't know that, brother. You wouldn't know that. Your goal was to try to disrespect, dis discredit our brother because he had a vision. See? And his vision caught the attention of those who are campaigning for the um, presidency of the United States of America. And it's a beautiful point my brother Levy uh, just made. The price $500 billion is not enough. Check Cube's contract. Because inside Cube's contract, it speaks to a broader scope outside some change like $500 billion. But D.L. Hughley wouldn't know that. D.L. Hughley didn't see or don't see the value in Ice Cube nor the supreme intelligence that allowed that man to compose such a great contract. With black America. So why did we call D.L. Ugly the new Negro? You have to understand something about terms and languages that is used in America. Specifically when it comes to black people in America. 
During slavery, they called us niggas. But hell, they wasn't lying. If the definition of the word nigger means ignorant, then during slavery, they were ignorant to their reality. They were ignorant to their conditions that they didn't know where they were at. So almost 300 years went by before they figured out what was going on. So they went from calling us nigger to Negroes. Trying to fit us in some way. But you couldn't be a Negro unless you was a good Negro and an obedient Negro. See, you had to fit the status quo back then to be a Negro. On my birth certificate, it said Negro. I was just a child. So they identified my mother as a Negro. See? But the new Negro is not forced to feed the slave master's children. He or she does it willingly. See? D.L. Ugly went in on our brother. D.L. Ugly put it in a situation as if to say Ice Cube wasn't qualified to sit with the president. Well, guess what, Mr. Ugly? Ice Cube never sat with the president. And because he never sat with the president, you misinform our people again. Dealing with Ice Cube and his um, contract with black America. That's the sad reality that we face and deal with daily. See, I love Ice Cube. That brother is a soldier. Not that he's a follower and a supporter of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam, but the brother has been a soldier all his life. He's been on the front lines. D.L. Hugo ain't never been on the front lines. They, they, they got you in a, a, a comedy show, The Kings of Comedy. You didn't qualify for that, brother. None of the jokes you told, whatever it was, you, was a, you, was been a, you, was, you, you have been a jokester all your life. And you still a jokester. But you want to castrate my brother and says he doesn't qualify. Who are you to determine if Ice Cube qualified to be able to negotiate with the administration of the Trump or the Biden administration? He never declined neither one of them. Biden or Trump. And he made it clear. They both are liars. Neither one of them could be trusted. But hell one of them is going into power. One way or the other. And at some point. Black America has to benefit from this. We can't keep casting votes. And our communities. Our wealth. Our financial status. All of these things stay the same. And you want to vote for this one, vote for that one. You put all these Negroes in the seat of Congress. You have Negroes in the seat of the Senate. You have Negroes in the government. You have Negroes in the mayor's seat. You have Negroes in um, council. Look at the condition of black America with the Negroes in the seats. So our brother who come from where we came from, bottom to the top, and he's still there. He composed something that makes sense. Did you read the contract? How many of you that's listening actually read Ice Cube's contract? See? So if you, if you haven't even read the contract, then how in the hell would you even comment on it? It's like 23 pages, if I'm not mistaken. I read a good portion of it. I didn't read it all. I'm still reading it. And I think it's very, very Instrumental and interesting, something to force the parties to think about whether they move out on it or not. It's not going to stop Q and those who are supporting and backing him. 
to keep their foot to the fire. Secure going to keep it on them. Rather, Biden, Trump, any one of them, consider it. See, or do anything about it. See, 500 billion is a lot that we can use in our community. It's not enough. They would have to give us half the damn country to settle the problems we have. But if we can't get past the self-hatred, the ignorance, then we won't go no damn where. See? We know DL, DL Ugly has an issue with black people. See, he sits on a radio station and makes all these ludicrous jokes, comments, commentaries, does all, but that radio station don't belong to him. See, there's a cracker that gave him a job to work at that radio station and he has to follow guidelines and policies. Ice Cube don't have that. Ice Cube is an independent black man. He's trying to guide us towards independence. See? The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has been teaching over 60 years and still teaching and striving to guide black America towards separation and independence. So you tell me who's Ice Cube teacher because Ice Cube is striving for independence. He don't have to punch a clock. He don't have to get on the radio and act a damn fool to get attention and stay relevant. D.L. Hughley has to do that. He has to sit there and sound like a damn idiot for the most part to get paid because it grabs your attention of humor. And so as long as he can humor you and keep you tapping into that radio station, the ratings grow. It's all about ratings. They don't give a damn about him. They probably looking to replace him now. He know that. D.L. Hughley. Well, Brother Albert, you got something to pride him? No, D.L. Hughley to have any damn thing personal against the man. Hell. I mean, it is what it is. He has a right to his opinion and his views. He's expressed that. But what he said was out of line and totally out of order. Because Ice Cube never sat with Trump on any occasion, never met with Trump to talk about no Platinum Plus plan. And if you understand the nature of white people, notice what they termed it. After they discussed it with Cube, the administration, the lady that made the Twitter post, I mentioned Instagram in the last video, but actually it was on his Twitter page, Cube was communicating. But the, the lady of the Trump administration that claimed she, they, they talked to, he don't even know her. There were other members that Q spoke with that was tied to the Trump administration. They called him and said, can we take a look at your plan? We heard about it. But when you look at it, it's so in debt, man. You can tell that it was done by professional people with, a, with the proper motives and alternatives. And they knew what they were doing. The people that sat with Q and helped Q compose the contract with black America. And I thank Allah because this brother is now sitting on all these different radio stations trying to clear the air. You're not by yourself, Q. We love you, man. I'm not just talking about the nation of Islam. I'm talking about black people who know better. You ain't by yourself, brother. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. Shit, they going to dislike it and hate it. That's what they do. Negroes like D.L. Hughley and even Roland Martin. Damn. Roland Martin just thought he was slick as hell when he pulled Q in with the sister that deals with the Black Lives Matter movement. So he thought he was smart by pretending he wanted to bring them two together. But if you know anything about Roland Martin, he ain't with us. He tap danced with Hillary Clinton. Y'all saw him. Y'all saw Roland Martin teaching Hillary Clinton how to swing. 
But now he want to jump on the bandwagon like he always do. We got some hellified Negroes in the new millennium today, man. And they got some real good intelligence. So they know how to maneuver things and swindle our minds. And, and, and like direct us into a, di a direction where we fall short of what's really going on. The Roland Martin interview, I watched the whole thing. Cube handled that superb. Every time Cube answered him, he came back with something else, contradicting, trying to pull the man into something outside of what he was really there for. I listened to Roland Martin. He brought the sister on from the Black Lives Matter movement, knowing that there's a major issue with that. Now you want to tie that in. So you want to tie that in with the contract with black America so that way you can say, oh, OK, now you put the Biden administration or the Trump administration in a situation where they are agreeing with Black Lives Matter. You understand the snakes that we deal with that look like us, that's been around and they like to talk loud. Roland Martin is a loud Negro. And disrespectful in interviews. Just watch him. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, man. God damn. Where's the professionalism at? There is none. See? But Cube dealt with that beautiful. He received our sister. She expressed the things that she was going through because of Black Lives Matter. It got hijacked from the very beginning by the Jews. And they turned it into a negative corporation. And so they use it as a, a pinpoint or, you know, marking to justify the things that goes on. And then they put it on the Black Lives Matter movement. Black lives always matter. All lives matter. But hell, if black lives don't matter, then how could all lives matter? See? See? There's a conflict with that. But Roland Martin knew what he was doing when he had Cube on the station. And he was talking to Cube. He wasn't really concerned about CWBA. Roland Martin didn't read the contract with Black America in debt. He started talking about stuff he did back in 2016. He started talking about the various chief and people. I've sat with this one. I've sat. Man, don't nobody. Look at the end results of that. You didn't compose contract with Black America Roland. D.L. Hughley. You ain't giving us a damn thing to look forward to. Salute Ice Cube. Respect Ice Cube, man. Young brother in the lion's den now. Every time one of us stand up and get in the goddamn lion's den, here come them cowards. I got a problem with that part in the energy, man. That brother need the support of his own people. All of those that's listening to my voice at this point. We need to understand the importance of supporting our people when they step out there like that. Ice Cube jumped out there and said, I'm not going to let this fly. I'm not going to let you attack us like this. And we don't get nothing out of it. Roland Martin wants to come up with comments Trump made. Trump say all kinds of stuff. Hell, Biden do stuff. See, Trump talk. Biden known for doing. Camilla Harris. How many people was executed in California under her leadership as prosecutor? How many black men are still incarcerated in California right now under Camilla Harris' leadership as lead prosecutor in the state of California? Talk back. But they go get a Negro in a skirt with a pretty face and you jump out the damn window. Don't do your research. Study it, but you jump out the window because some of us like to rub shoulders with Satan. Some of us like to sit with Satan. How many people are still incarcerated on trumped up charges by the prosecutor's office in California that Camilla Harris led? 
See? So why in the hell you think Ice Cube came up with contract with black America? Camilla Harris doesn't want to have anything to do with that. Because she knows the crime she committed against blacks, browns, yellow in California as a prosecutor. Stern, hard, indigenous. I mean, just ignorant. Camilla Harris. See? But that's the Biden team. That's why they say, oh, we'll talk about it after the election. So if we don't win, hell, there ain't nothing to talk about. See? And if we win, we might meet with you, Q. But that's not going to stop Ice Q from doing what he do. See? And when you think about it, Ice Cube is on point. You got to read the contract with Black America and salute the brother for composing that with the professional people that sat with him since D.L. Hughley outright lied and made it seem like Ice Cube had some crayon and some paper and he just put it together by himself. It wasn't done professionally or by those who had the experience in the fields that Ice Cube touched. He went from bank loans to homes, I mean businesses, financial gain. There's so much in there, man. But D.L. Hughley knew what he was doing. That Jew opened the door for D.L. Hughley to attack our brother, gave him the permission, and he, dig and he did it out of ignorance. So I was nice when I used the word Negro because I could have called a spade a spade. But I'm not for the slander and the name calling that that's childish, that's baby language. So I tried to keep it as professional as I can. The new American Negro. Because America can identify with that. See? America can identify with the new American Negro. You see what I'm saying? However. However. I wanted to make this clear. We have to do better. As a people. And come around to reality. Because attacking Ice Cube don't resolve the problem. Not by a long shot. And we must understand that. In order for us to move forward with progress. Reconsider your thoughts. If you have any negative thoughts about Ice Cube. And the contract with black America. And stop listening to the made Negroes. Like D.L. Hughley, Roland Martin, and all these other people that want to blast Ice Cube for striving to compose something to force these campaign parties to consider. Rather they do anything about it is irrelevant because the brother is going to keep the work going. And it's our job to do the same. So as I said, I'm not going to belabor your point, belabor the point and talk you to death. But I think... That it was just crazy that D.L. Hughley said what he said. But there's one or two more things I want to look at. A couple of my people who commented on the post, I want to thank my sister. Give me one second and let me, um, Sister Linda McDuffie Muhammad, for her beautiful comment that she added. She said that she went and listened to the tape. The uh, link. And for the most part, she could deal with some of the positive that D.L. Ugly was saying. But then as she listened on, she started realizing that D.L. Ugly was off, off base, according to her comment. And so she realized that the jealousy that D.L. Ugly had for Ice Cube was clear, was clear. So as always to my sister Linda, I thank you uh, for your support 
and your comment relevant to what we do on the Let Us Make Man program and how our sister has always been um, supportive of what we do. She talked uh, into the, the finger as I, how he point the finger. She said, when you point one, there's always four more coming back, back at you or three more. However, you point your damn finger. But D.L. Hughley doesn't see that. D.L. Hughley is a dis disgrace to black people. Take it or let it alone. And some of the, the um, comments he made or jokes is not all. Um, it doesn't make sense. I want to thank my brother, Todd X. McGraw, for his comment. And him standing out. My brother said, give me a second. The brother is not a Negro. Most of our people are emotionally and emotional and not analytic. Well, again, we all have a right to our comments. But as I stated earlier, what how a Negro is made in America. And so some of us volunteer ourselves for this category. See, a Negro is submissive for the most part. A Negro will compromise for the most part. But that's how they were made when they transitioned from the American language of nigger to Negro. See, as a nigger, they was ignorant and they didn't know no better. But once they started allowing them to read, they had to compromise with the language. So they turned them a Negro to try to make them more acceptable to a degree. But that was then. But today's Negro, D.L. Hughley, is volunteering their services of intelligence against black America. So he's the new secret weapon. And many are like him all across America that look like you and I. A lot of us support and love. See, it's interesting how when we go at white people and what they do to us, it's acceptable. But when we begin to hold our own people accountable, now it's a struggle for balance. Now it's an issue. See? But if you've ever been on this program or if this is your first time, you can rest assured we are just. And we deal equally across the board. So the same way we may beat the hell out of white people, we're going to beat the hell out of our own people when they cross the line, brother. DL crossed the line. Because what he said about Cube in that video was wrong, man. That makes him a Negro. Slash nigga. Ignorant. Cube never put together no platinum plan with the Trump administration. Cube never sat with Donald Trump or met with Donald Trump and discussed anything with Donald Trump. That's ignorant. It's ignorant to put it out there like that. That's how he qualifies to be a Negro. But I thank my brother Todd for that comment. And I told the brother and the sister that I will put the comments out there. Because we appreciate when you respond to us. We really do. And we thank you. If we should fall short on this program, I'm not big-headed or arrogant that I can't listen to your opinion or your view and correct any shortcomings that we have. I'm not going to come at you because you differ with what we say. You differ with what we say. You differ with what we say. We can agree to disagree. That's the way I view it. But at the end of the day, inshallah, be the will of God. We will continue to support our people when they show true commitment to us. Ice Cube is a soldier. Now he's basically doing interviews with people he probably wouldn't have even had a cup of tea with to clear up any misconceptions. You see that Trump, Eric Trump, took that photo, altered the photo, which he could be sued or should be sued for, put Make America Great, had it on the head of 50 Cent and Ice Cube, then put it out there. And for those of us who didn't know no better, couldn't even see the photo was altered immediately. Yeah, see, I told you. 
That nigga with Trump. And look at 50. But them niggas with Trump. See, 50 a comedian. If you if you don't know 50 Cent by now, you just lost. If you don't know his mindset by now, you just lost. So to feed into 50 Cent, it would be just ludicrous. You and I know that you can expect anything under the sun from 50 Cent. So to feed into 50 Cent is just a lost cause. But I love 50. I really do. And I appreciate 50 intelligence. Rather he vote for Trump, I don't give a damn who 50 vote for. I'm going to get mad because he vote for Trump. That's that man's opinion. Got nothing to do with me. My president is the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. My leader is the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. My guide is the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Farrakhan. My vote goes to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. That's it. So you can vote for who you want to vote for, by all means. Nothing to do with me, your little brother. So with that being said, I pray a lot that I said nothing to offend anyone because that's never the intentions. It's never the goal when we log into this thing to come at our people in a negative or derogatory way. But we're taught to speak the truth regardless to the circumstances. D.L. Ugly is dead wrong. And he don't give a damn because he is super ignorant. He is super ignorant. And you got to accept that. Well, you don't have to accept it. It's a reality. And most of the jokes that he say is super ignorant. I never really took the D.L. Hughley from the beginning. And when I watched the Kings of Comedy, the only one that impressed me was Bernie Mac. The Mac. That's my man. I could watch that over and over again and cut all the rest of them out and just watch Bernie. But I mean, that, that's who I took to. You, know I mean? you, you may have your own. But I never took the D.L. Hughley. It is what it is. Even when he had the D.L. Hughley show, I never took to that. See? He going to do what he do to tap dance for that cracker, for that Jew. So he got on the radio and then broadcast what he broadcast, said what he said. He lied. He lied. Because once again, I repeat, Ice Cube never put together no Platinum Plus plan with Trump. Or Platinum plan, Plus plan, Platinum, whatever. Cube ain't had a damn thing to do with that. They called that man... The Trump administration called Ice Cube and just asked them, can we look at it? By all means, per Q. They looked at it. They saw interest, took interest, and they created the platinum plan. And look how they termed it to get your attention. Because you know you like to be rocked out, iced out with platinum. They're not stupid, man. So they termed it the way they termed it to get your attention, and they won. They didn't tell you that whatever they putting in there has been abstracted, meaning they took some of what they saw in the CWB contract with Black America that was composed by Ice Cube and his conglomerati. They didn't tell you that. They just told you we're going to use this. Right? Or they, this is the Platinum Plus plan. We'll put $500 billion in the black community. Where is he going to get the $500 billion from? Unfortunately, we just don't look that far. We assume. And to get your vote, you will go for it, for those who will. See? And at the end of the day, with that being said, if this is your first time on deck, we thank you for your mo the few moments you shared. Again, we pray Allah we didn't offend anyone or cause any issues in your heart. But Ice Cube is my brother. And that was a beautiful, that is a beautiful plan that he put together. And it's bigger than what we think it is. If you get the time, why don't you Google it and just look into it and see what you take out of it. So with that being said, once again, I thank Almighty God Allah for allowing me to share a few words with my family on this Let Us Make Man program, this Facebook live feed, which has allowed us to share the life-giving teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, as is taught today by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. May Allah continue to bless you and your family. Original salute to my brother Ice Cube and keep soldiering. Assalamu alaikum.